Hey, on. You're, You're on. on. Okay, cool. I'm with Jake Butel, the drummer of the Jared Hain Experience, who are reforming after a hiatus of 25 years. G'day, Jake. Yeah, howdy, howdy, Chris. No, it's nice to be here. Very good. 25 years, that's a long time between drinks. Why so long? Well, uh, kind of, you know, life kind of just slips away. Uh, you know, uh, the whole thing with the, uh, the Hain train band uh, uh, was that we were a bunch of young kids uh, uh, just come down from the country to Sydney and just kind of fell into each other's pockets. Well, no, 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 that's a lie. We, we actually all met in a circus, uh, a country circus called the Abattoir Underground. And then we came to Sydney uh, with a clear plan to form a band and to, to record music and to make a difference. Only trouble is, uh, we very soon found we hated each other. That's so often in bands. Has this, has this went beyond the, the usual thing about musical differences? Yeah, it, it, well, it just, for me personally, it was, it was a, a lot of the time it's just what the, the dickhead said, or, 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 the, or a dickhead owed me some money, or another dickhead was looking at my girl. So there was a whole, like a whole raft, a whole raft of, of hate inducing episodes. Any violence? No, 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 we never, we never, ever, ever, ever lash out. You see, with the Hain Train, with our kind of, with our kind of rock music, you see, a lot of it, a lot of it, a lot of our rock music is therapy. Like we bash, well, I, I bash the drum kit. And I know Izzy bashes those big fat bass strings. They hurt. They, when you bash a bass string, a thick one, you know, it damn well hurts. But Who does it hurt? The bass? Or, yeah, or the fingers, mean? man, the fingers. So a lot of the hatred we got out of our systems through the beautiful medium of rock and roll, hitting the strings, wailing, wailing into the microphone and bashing, bashing the drums. So is it going to work this time? Well, I think... Uh, <laughs> Who knows? Who knows, man? It's, that's the big question, man. Hanging over the city like, like, a, like a full moon. Okay, now what have you been doing in the last 25 years? Now, nah, Chris, Chris, I'm only joking, man. I think, I think we've all mellowed. I mean, you know, there's been a lot of miles down the highway that we've all done, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, we're not the, we're not the same crazy kids on quaaludes that we were back in the 80s. You know, we've all, we've all settled down doing what we do. Uh, off the road, off the main highway, but now the bus is back on the highway. And we're not going to blow this time, Chris. We're not going to blow it like so many other people, you know, like your cold chisels or, or your churches or your, your, well, men at work. Men at work, good. That's an interesting concept. When have they come back and, and done a fantastic reunion tour? And had the critics agreeing that it's probably the, the greatest rejuvenation of rock music in the noughties. Were you still in the noughties? Well, if you're a mathematician, you'd be saying that this we're in is the, the last year of the noughties. Okay, okay. So what I'm just saying is, we changed, we're, we're back, and this time we're not going to blow it. We're going to give it our best, and we're going to, we're going to, well, we're just going to put smiles back on people's faces, because that's what, that's what it's all about. It's not about the money or the fame, Chris. It's about the people in the, in the crowd, and giving them something, giving them something. Now, this is Izzy Ivers, the bass player. How do you feel about coming back together after 25 years? I'm in a total flap. Um, now, Chris, <laughs> I was I was only young, you know, back then. Um, I, I was a bit of a child prodigy, and, um, and this is, you know, my this is this is my stepbrother here, Jake. He's he's a lot older than me and and a lot less wise, but <laughs> <laughs> but I, I still took you under my wing, is he? Well, yeah. You took me under my wings. And uh, what was the question? I can't remember, but you often you don't get sensible answers to questions from rhythm sections, do you? Well, no, no, no you've picked the wrong people. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me about the influences. So now, how did you get into rock? How did what did you listen to when you were younger? What do you listen to now? What have you been up to? Well, Jake's mother and my father produced me. Well, don't go down that road, Jake. It's just going to stir up a whole lot of trouble. And it's a family show. Well, it, it, was a, 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 it was 
a scientific experiment, actually, and what, my, my influence is uh, the birds, simply. The birds. I love the birds. Oh, great, great band, mm. great band, man. And great oh. species. What are you talking about? The species or the band? Or the film. Well, the film, man, is a kind of... See, the Jared Hayne oh, train yeah. is a sort of mesh of a lot of popular culture, plus some sort of roots and blues from the, from the Delta, from the Delta. This is the Mississippi Delta? No, no, no. The Cooks is... River Delta. <laughs> it can be the Cooks River, it can be any river. Like, I'm using river as a metaphor, Chris. I'm sure the, your, you know, your, your, your listeners can understand that. You know, it's a metaphor for, for getting on board the raft, you know, with your buddies, Get in the raft, because sometimes it's, the river's choppy, but you stick together in the raft, okay? And you okay. can go down to the river, to the sea. This, this is... Oh, well, I'm good, Jake, but what happened 25 years ago, we didn't stick in the raft together then, uh, but we we're back. Up, we're we're back. We fucked up, we fucked up, we fucked up, that's true. But, uh, yeah, I mean, but that, that's the beautiful thing about life, you get a second chance to redeem yourself. Well, we've got a good raft. Yeah, we've got a damn good raft. That, a uh, but do you have paddles? We don't need paddles. No, we use psychic energy to steer the boat down the river. Okay, now tell me about the reunion gig. When's that coming up? Well, it's uh, next Friday. Yeah, it's at, the Friday Vanish the 10th. it's at the Vanishing Point Art Gallery, which is like the hottest new music spot in Newtown, Sydney. It's going to be... That's started. what our manager tells us. Yeah, well, Gypsy O'Flanagan, Order of Australia, uh, our manager, uh, you know, he, he's going around talking big, and uh, you know, we don't like that. We, we, we don't feel comfortable with that. We just want to play the music. If, it, if people like it, they like it. If they don't like it, they don't like it. But Gypsy's going around town saying everything, saying everything, promising everything. Yeah. You know? I've seen the posters. But what, now, what, what can the music public of Newtown expect? Three words. Three words. Yeah, you, you say the first two and I'll do the third. Circus. Cowpunk. Blues. <laughs> well, that's four. <laughs> no, no. Actually, cowpunk cow is one word. I think cowpunk's With a word. dash between it. No, I wouldn't even have the dash. No, no dash. Cool, cool. Yeah. So three words. That's, thank you, Wizzy. Three words uh, at the Vanishing Point next Friday, the 10th of September. Six till ten. Yeah, Six there's, till a couple, ten. there's a couple of other young, young punks going to do their stuff. Because it's not all about us. Like, we understand that rock has to be passed down. Now, we're passing the good news down to the kids coming up. We're and giving a wing up to uh, Panzer Queen and uh, Kristen Punchy. Yeah, Kristen Punchy. Punchy. Panzer Punchy. Queen. Yeah, Panzer Queen. Yeah, they're, sounds, they're hot. Sounds awesome. They're hot. Yeah. And will you be heading into the studio for, for another slab of plastic? Well, we got together um, in the studio last night and... We're hammering out some new songs and some old ones that we were trying to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, God damn that. Yeah. It's the first time we've been in a room together for 25 years. Yeah, it felt really, funny, you know, but it felt funny, yeah. Lucky we've got email, you know, we talk to each other. Yeah, I'd email, rather email, yeah. First time in 25 years that we've all been together. I'd rather play music by email. Yeah, Is well, that possible? We, we try. Yeah. I saw a um, craft work once and, like, and they bring their studio with them and for all, all they're all sitting behind monitors. And for all we knew, they could be just sitting there with the music on autopilot, emailing each other. Yeah, that's all kind of that's all well and good, Chris. But it's, this this interview is about us, not you or Craftwork. So can you get back on the topic? <laughs> <laughs> I think we might just wind it up here. I mean, like, we, should, we should talk about roles here. Me interviewee, you interviewee. Um, Anyway, but I think we've got just about everything we need anyway. So, uh, Chris, Chris, just yeah, just tell your listeners out there in Radio Land, come on board, come Do we on need board, the Hain Train. You just show up, man. You just show up with an open heart and open ears. Ears. And what's, ears. The, and what's the cost? Open Wings, it's free entry. It's a freebie and it's part of the Sydney Fringe. It is. And, and it's a one-off. And it's proudly supported by the Marrickville Council. I mean... You know how good is the Miracle Council? Yeah, they're a bunch of. They've heard of the Jared Hayne experiment. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think they listen to they it actually. Have, yeah. I think they listen to it. Mm. You know, during meetings, just to calm themselves. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, I think the mayor was there back in '85 at the Hopeton. Sammy Sla 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 Jared. Slammin oh, Slammy. Yeah. The mayor is Slammin Sammy Iskander. I think he was there. And he used to, yeah, man. He's the he's, only one who can remember it. Man, his hair wow, used to be down. That means he wasn't there. His hair was down there. That's what I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Slammy loves his rock and roll, so, and so does all the other people in Marrickville. So come on board the Hain train, Chris. Tell your people, tell, it, tell everyone, Chris. Thanks, Jake and Izzy. I'm sure it's going to be a blast. Great. Cheers.